Hey everyone, it's Avir from Cotagos. Today we are making a game called Beat the Goalie. Beat the Goalie is a multiplayer game in which you have to score using a ball and the goalie has to defend it. For each goal you score, you get points. Let me show you what I created. So you can see there is a timer on the top left side and the score above it. I can move my goalie using the arrow keys and the ball continuously moves left and right. Now, whenever I press the space key, the ball moves forward and if the goalie is not able to defend it, it uh, says that it's a goal. But if the goalie is able to defend it, then it is a save. So there is a timer of 30 seconds. When the timer runs out, it stops all the uh, code and it displays the final score. Now we can break the creating of this program into few simple steps. First is to make the ball move left and right when the green flag is clicked. Second step is when we press the space key, the ball has to stop moving and go forward. Thirdly, we have to make the goalie move using arrow keys. And the fourth step is to keep the track of score and the time. Let's get started. After we click on create, the screen appears. In this screen, we will choose a sprite to be our goalie. So we'll hover over the choose a sprite option and then click on it. There are a ton of cool sprites here, but I'll choose penguin and not penguin one, penguin two. So this is our goalie and now we don't need the cat sprite. That's why we'll delete it. But we also need a backdrop. So we'll hover over the choose a backdrop and we'll click on paint. After we have clicked on paint, we will choose the square option and we will select no outline. Now we need to adjust the sliders so that the color is the same as the color which is on the field. After that, we simply have to draw a square. This is going to be the bottom of the screen. Then after that, we need to draw a line which is like the penalty line. Oops, I changed its color. Now we'll draw another square which has to be a smaller square. something like this and i'll change its color to white so this, this is the penalty line and after, i'll reduce its size a bit and i'll make it a little bigger after this we need to draw another small square with the same color so we'll click on the color dropper and then click on this green color. After that, I'll draw a square. That seems perfect. Just I'll make it a bit small. A bit more small, yes. And now you can adjust it. Yes. Oops. Now, after that, I need to draw a goal also. So I'll choose the color white and I'll draw a line with outline as the white color. And I'll set its thickness to be 20. Now I simply have to draw a line. To there. To 
Now from here, L, L. I'll erase the bit of I'll erase a bit of this. I'll choose the line again. Okay. Yes, that seems like cool. Just that. I'll change the white this color to be the color orange so that it stands out differently. Yeah. Yes. And now I want the sky to be blue. So I'll click on the fill and sky is color somewhat like this, I think. And I'll convert it to bitmap because in vector you can't paint the background. Then I'll convert it to vector again. So here it is a goal. Let us code our sprites. But wait a minute. I can't see a ball here. So I'll hover over the choose sprite and I'll still search for the term ball. Now there are tons of balls. But I'll choose the soccer ball because this is a soccer game. And after that, we need a sprite to move left and right until space key is pressed. So I'll drag out an if pen green flag click block. And I'll go to control and I'll scroll a bit down and then drag a repeat until block. Then I will go to sensor and drag out if E space pressed. After that, I'll go to motion and drag out to move 10 steps block, but I'll change its speed to be 8 and if on edge bounce. So it repeats moving left and right until the key space is pressed. When we press the space key, it stops at this exact place. After that, we need it to move forward when the sp uh, space key is pressed. So I'll change the repeat to 15 times. I'll set the motion. I'll go to motion and choose the move 10 steps. Let's see. I click on the space key. Oh, by mistake, I dragged out a move 10 steps block, but I have to drag out the chain change y by 10 block. Let's see if it works now. Yes, it does work. Perfect. Now it is giving the impression that whenever we click on the space key, we shoot the ball and it moves forward. After that, we we'll have to write the code whenever it touches the goalie to decide whether it is a save or it is a goal. So we'll drag out the if, if then else block. And after that, we'll go to sensing and drag out the touching mouse pointer block. But instead of mouse pointer, we are going to change it to penguin too. After that, we can go and import some sound. For example, you can go to the sounds tab and uh, choose a sound, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let us focus on the coding. We'll go to control and then we'll broadcast 
drag drag out a broadcast message one block and change it to broadcast save so whenever the wall touches penguin 2 it broadcasts save else it will broadcast score but first of all we need to write the code for save so we'll go to penguin and drag out the when i receive save and drag out the save hello for two second block and change it to save and then an exclamation mark now we change the two seconds to one second because we don't want it to be a bit too long now let's see if when the ball touches the penguin oh wait i need the ball to go to its original position so i'll drag the ball to its original position and here i can see the x values and the y values i'll make it go here and then i'll go go to motion so whatever the values of the sprite currently are over here the same are over here now let me move the sprite to somewhere else so now my values have changed and so have the values in the motion block but i wanted to go somewhere here so i'll drag out the go to block let's see if this works so it touches the penguin and then it brought it broadcasts save and then the penguin says save now we need to write the code for goal so we go to soccer ball and then we go to control then oops we have to go to event and i'll change this to new message and change it to score we can also add our variables right now so i'll add a variable called score and i'll add another variable called timer after i have added both of them i'll go to penguin script and i'll drag out of when i receive score block set i'll set uh, i'll go to soccer ball and i'll set both of the variables to their original value first of all score score has to be 0 and timer has to be 30 second 30 so you can change timer to how how much seconds you want but i think 30 seconds are enough for me so when i receive score and change score by one that that means i'll add score to whatever its value is right now and then i'll add the value to one and then i'll say go for one second let's see if this works right now it is save and it's it scores and then the score changes its value to score plus one after that i'll go to soccer and i want this process to get repeated over and over i'll drag out a repeat forever block and after, and i'll put it out i'll put all of my script inside of it but not the set variable block because if i'll set my variable then even if i score it will set the score again to zero and now let us write the code for the penguin to move left and right. So first of all, I'll drag out the when green flag click block and I'll make the penguin go to the desired place. Now I'll again go to events and I'll drag out the 
when space key pressed actually do when space key pressed and i'll change it to left arrow and right arrow so and and then i'll go to motion and change drag out to change x by 10 So whenever I press on uh, the left arrow key, it changes x by minus ten. Let's see if this works. I'll run this program. So when I press the left key, the penguin goes left, and when I press the right key, the penguin goes right. You can also increase its value to fifteen or maybe even twenty. After that, now let us write the code for the time. First of all, you need to drag a when green flag click block. So we will go to events and drag out a when green flag click block. After that, we need to set time to thirty. So we will go to variables and drag out a set my variable to zero block and change it to timer and then change zero to thirty. You can change this to whichever number you want. This is basically the time in which, if, in which you will have to score the goals. After the time runs out, you can't score any more goals, and the final score gets appeared. Then after that, you need to go to control and drag out a repeat until block. Then we'll go to operators. And drag out the is equal to block. Now we again have to go to variables and drag out this block right here, which says timer, and change this value to zero. Now we'll go to control and drag out the wait one second block, and then go to variables again and drag a change timer by minus one block. So what this does is that it sets its value to thirty. Then until the timer timer's value is zero, it waits one second and then it changes the time to one. Now after the timer runs out, we want it to stop all of the other scripts. So with that, our timer is done. With this, our project is complete. I hope you all had an amazing time here with me creating this game. I will see you next week at the same time with another wonderful game. Until then, goodbye and stay safe.